Listening to climate change is a Yale Planetary Solutions seed grant project. I was deeply fascinated by the idea of taking something like a flock of birds, looking at that and thinking that looks like music, how might I map that to actual musical parameters? I met Diego Ellis Soto, he's a young scientist here at Yale, and he basically said, well, what you're missing is the data. And uh, he gave me a data set that we figured out how to sonify, and then all of a sudden we were on our way. Judy Lichtman, who is an epidemiologist in public health, who teaches a class here at CCAM, saw what I was doing, these sonification projects, and said, what, what are you up to? And <laughs> this is really interesting. So Judy is interested in uh, climate change as a public health concern and she said I think that we can, we can collaborate, we can write a grant together. We're really grateful that Planetary Solutions saw the value of this and, and they wanted to support it. I proposed a course to my program, uh, Theatre, Dance and Performance Studies, and I'm thrilled that, that it was uh, accepted and we've got a really healthy first cohort and there are extraordinary students from across the university so it's really wonderful. I'm really excited um, to have the chance to have gotten to take this class because I spent last summer working for the Forest Service. Actually I was working for a researcher who was studying wildfire acoustics so she was trying to figure out what sound waves can tell us about how fast fires are moving and what they're burning and that has really influenced kind of how I've looked for courses. So what's been really exciting about this class is we've not only been um, thinking about these evolving processes and how we can represent them with the art, but actually sonifying the data. We did big workshops with uh, school children here in New Haven through Music Haven that provides uh, tuition-free classical music lessons and mentoring. My specific project that I was working on was to help the kids compose a piece out of climate data. And so they're thinking about, um, they're thinking about what makes good music, but they're also thinking about how to translate big ideas in the world to people and how music can be a powerful tool for communication. What happened on the fly was Sorry. What, what we hadn't anticipated is how empowering this would be. So we presented the idea, they generated musical ideas, and then we had them notate if they could notate music or draw pictures, and then they put together on the fly compositions. And then we asked them, this is the unexpected thing, I said, well, you could get up and you could conduct your own music. And one by one, they would get up and they would lift their arms up and they would realize just what a powerful moment that was. And, and the, the music that came out of that was amazing. You can show bar graphs and pie charts forever, but you can play a piece of music and it's going to go straight to people's emotions and intellects. So I think that's, in terms of a communication vehicle, it's, it's particularly powerful. As an educational model, I think there's tremendous potential and that's what we want to investigate going forward.